Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zexus, the YouTube superhero, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your live streams look professional with nice looking Twitch overlays. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so on my live stream the other day, I had a couple people comment asking me how to make a nice looking live stream as far as graphics, how to get follower alerts, sub alerts, donation alerts, how to, you know, have the chat pop up on screen, how to have nice looking overlay, right? And I told him I'd make a video on it. So that's what I'm here to do today. Okay, so this video is based off of you knowing a little bit about live streaming. Like, I'm not going to be teaching you guys how to live stream in this video, but this is assuming that you already understand that. And this is going to be using OBS as well. So, uh, now that I have that out of the way, let's get into the method. Okay, so you go to strexum.tv, and there's a link down in the description you can click to get there. And basically, this website is all about Twitch overlays, live streaming overlays. You might be able to use them on other websites. I'm pretty sure you can, but I'm just saying Twitch for now because, you know, whatever. But th this website specializes in uh, overlays for your live streams. Now, you can purchase some overlays um, for in uh, on-website currency, or you can get free ones. And obviously, most people want things for free. So... As you can see, they make them for different games or they make them just generic and whatnot. So basically, what you want to do is you just want to go on this website and look for an overlay you like. So let's see here. I like this overlay right here. This Oh, oh this overlay costs coins. So we're not going to get this one because this one's not free. Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll go with this one because this one's free, guys. They do have more of a selection than this, but since I've already gotten two free overlays... Um, the selection starts to get limited a little bit. So let's just say, all right, we like this, we like this overlay. So we're going to hit the free button and press on free. So now we just got this overlay. So now we can edit our new overlay. Okay, so now on the edit page, all right, this is what we're going to do now. We're going to edit it. Duh, sounds simple, right? Okay, so you can edit the text by, you know, just clicking on it. And mine says XAlien7 because, you know, my profile's name is XAlien7. But we're going to put in Zexus because that's the name I'm going by. All right, so now I put in there because that's my name, right? Okay, so over on the left here, you can see how you have your social medias. You do the same thing. You know, you can just uh, click on it to edit it. Right now, it looks very small because that's on the website. But when you are on the, um, like, when you actually use this for streaming or whatever, it'll it'll appear bigger. So don't worry about that. Okay, so now here's different features. All right, let's say the webcam right now is set to a four by three, a four to three aspect ratio. Okay, well, if you need a 16 by nine, you can do that. You just click on it right there or yeah, there we go. Now it's a 16 by nine. Click on it again to bring it back to a four by three. Let's say you don't have a webcam. All right, go ahead. You can, you can untick that. There you go. Now let's say you don't want your name at the top there. You can untick that. Okay, let's say you don't want the social bars. You can untick them. But let's say you want the social bars, but let's say you don't have Facebook. Facebook's the third one in there, right? Okay, let's go to the third social one, and let's hit hide selection. Now look at it. It takes out the Facebook thing. So, you know, that's pretty cool, right? Now at the bottom bar, as you can see at the bottom here, we can name these whatever we want, really. But I just, for me, I leave them what they are. So we have latest followers. So now it's going to show who the latest follower is. Now we have recent followers. It's going to show a list of recent followers. Uh, we have top donation. So it's going to be the person's name and how much they donated. And then we have recent donations. It's going to show people's names and how much they donated. All right. So let's say we don't want that. We can untick that. But let's say we do want it. So we can uh, let's say we don't want recent donations, but we want uh, recent subscribers. So we can change that to recent subscribers. So then the last feature that they really have that I really like, and I think it's one of the best features on here, is Twitch chat. It's automatically unticked, so I would recommend you tick it. So Twitch chat is, now look, on the right-hand side of the screen, we have the Twitch chat. Now there's different themes that you can have. Let me just go ahead and close these. That way I don't have, I have to scroll down as far. Now let's open up the settings for Twitch chat. Now there's different themes you can put behind them. Like I can make this light. So now we have like this white square to appear behind our chat or I can make it dark. Uh, my personal favorite is the last one, the Sonos theme. Uh, basically, it makes it completely transparent, but it makes the text pop out more. So I find this very helpful because, you know, what if I upload my live stream to YouTube uh, after I live stream, right? And I'm answering questions in chat. Well, to the viewer on YouTube, all they hear is my answer to the question. They don't actually know what the question is. So they'll be confused. Whereas if you have the chat pop up here, 
now they can actually see what the chat question said and then hear the answer. So I think that's very helpful and I actually, I honestly really like it. I put it on my streams. Okay, so now let's test this out. So now we have alert settings, okay? So this is the, you have follower alerts, sub alerts, donation alerts, and host alerts. Host alerts are if you want someone else to host a live stream on your channel, you can do that. But basically you can go in here, uh, you can change what the message says, you can make an animation of it, you can put a custom sound on it. Uh, basically you can do a you can do change the color of stuff. But basically when someone follows, it automatically detects that. And let's just hit preview follow alert. Okay, never mind. Test follow alert. Okay, it doesn't actually do that up on the thing here, but let's hit preview follow alert. And as you can see, that will happen when someone follows you on Twitch. This will be, this follow alert will appear about right in here, right underneath your name tag. Uh, it's just not doing it there. So basically, once you're done customizing this to your liking, you just go ahead and hit the update button. And once the check mark and, up, check mark and updated is there, okay, so now that uh, it's updated, you can see over here in on the left hand side you get unique overlay link so basically you just want to copy this link address and now you're gonna to go to the second link that I have in my description um, it's a plugin for OBS it's called CLR browser source plugin you're gonna need this in order for the overlay to work so basically go in here download whatever version you need the 32 bit or the 64 bit and you just download that and install the plugin okay so once you have the plugin downloaded and installed you want to go into OBS and you're going to go to your sources and you're going to right click and you're going to hit add and you're going to go to CLR browser. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as CLR browser. And in the URL spot, you're going to delete this and you're going to paste in your unique stream overlay that you got from Strexum. So now your dimensions, you're going to cha change this to uh, 1920 and your height is going to be 1080. So then you just hit OK. And there you go. Your live stream overlay is now set. That's it, guys, really. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button, show some support. Stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe to stay up to date with all my latest content. And as always, peace out.